In a few seconds, I'm gonna hit play on the second GeoPals animation. In this episode, we're gonna introduce one of our main characters, Nilgi. A lot of the animation series is gonna be from Nilgi's point of view as it pursues its dream of joining a treasure hunt league. This is an important episode, so if you plan on following GeoPals, make sure you watch this one till the end. Give this video a like, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's begin. Deep within the ocean region, a young Nilgi lay flat on the ocean bed, blowing water rings as it waited for the ocean champions to pass. The treasure hunt league had just begun, marking the first race of the season, and the whole Geoverse was waiting in anticipation. A treasure orb had landed just north of Nilgi's ocean village, right on the border with the volcanic region. Let me just explain something. The Geopal champions all live here in the central city. The city is divided into factions. Each one's made of the most powerful Geopals from every corner of the Geoverse. To join a faction, you've got to earn your place by passing intense tests of power and endurance. When a treasure orb falls, everyone in the city is alerted. Each faction quickly assembles its top team, selecting members with the right strengths to tackle the terrains that it will have to cross. An announcement's made, and then the race begins. The faction with the most wins at the end of the series wins the legendary status across the whole Geoverse. And they also absorb power from the orbs that they collect along the way. These leagues push Geopals to grow stronger and own their skills. Because one day, when evil returns, the Geoverse will need its champion ready. Beyond the city in the wilderness, other Geopals live peacefully. The wilderness regions are sustained by ancient treasure orbs embedded deep within the regions. The treasure orbs help to keep nature's balance. Right now, this is where Nilgi lives, but it knows that one day it'll join a faction and lead its team to victory. Now let's get back to the animation. A vortex spiraled through the water, propelling the first ocean champion at an impossibly fast speed. Nilgi had never witnessed anything like it before. The vortex came to an abrupt stop, overpowered by a relentless current pinning the ocean champion to the floor. It was the Laguna, the awakened form of Nilgi. Meanwhile, its competitors raced past with confidence, leaving Laguna frustrated. Nilgi was losing sight of the intense race to the finish, so it ventured forward, hoping to get a better view of the treasure orb in the final sprint. Nilgi raced as fast as it could through the seabed and up towards the shallows, eventually reaching the shores of the volcanic region. Nilgi had never entered the volcanic region. The ocean and volcanic geopowers had been in conflict since the chasers vanished, and the last ocean geopower who ventured there had never returned, leading to strict rules preventing ocean geopowers from ever venturing into the volcanic region. However, on this day, the ocean region was preoccupied, watching the race unfold from its ocean village. Nilgi needed to ascend above an obsidian ledge for a better view of the race. Upon reaching the top of the ledge, Nilgi stumbled on an uneven patch of ground, tumbling down a hill into a deep, dark valley. Nilgi glanced over and saw a flame. So, who is this fiery creature? Will Nilgi be another casualty of the volcanic region? Or could an unlikely alliance be forged? Friends? Rivals? Or maybe even training partners? What do you want to see in the next episode? Drop your ideas in the comments. Our favourite one will win a free set of Geopower decks. And if you want to support us, you can also buy decks on our website. The link's just in the description. If these animations have you hooked and you want to join the Geopowers community, please join our Discord. The link's in the description as well. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.